Okay, um, okay, is this thing on? Yeah, okay, that's on. That, that's, hello, I'm Trevor Steenstein, roving reporter to the stars. And, um, he's upgrade. we're upgrading the, the arsenal, I guess. Guns. Guns are scary. But I'm the, the, the reporter to the stars. I'm... I know 120 of them, because I collected them in, in Super Mario 64. How many people do you know that could do that? I am hardcore. Anyway, I, I told Bale that I would do this video for him because he said he was busy writing songs and such for his friends. So here I am, out of retirement. So here are a bunch of these new enemies. They, they like these zombie guys, and um, they've also... They got these bombs and stuff, and sometimes they blow up. I don't know why. They just do. I've sort of got a frog in my throat, but I've always got a frog in my throat. Because I'm actually part amphibian. I don't know if you knew that, but that's what the people in high school always told me. And then they'd shove me in a locker. Anyway, I don't know what that has to do with this, but um, the, 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 the bomb guys, they blow up. And you need to kill them before they do that, I guess should probably do that. So like, you know, they like to explode. And they like to hop around and stuff. With their knives. So I guess we, we call them zombie soldiers or zombie assassins or something. Super zombies. It's up to you. I don't know what anything is called in this game. I'm just sort of... This is my first time doing post-commentary. And I'm doing my best. Oh god! There's so much blood! How can anyone enjoy a game like this? <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Oh boy! There's explosions everywhere. I don't even know how I feel about that. As long as... It's kind of a scary place, but it'll, it's not a forest. I'm okay with that. Try to work that one out. I'm okay with, with a mausoleum full of dead bodies, but a forest? Forget about it. Don't even want to talk. I just... I'll go home. Right now. I'll go home and I'll hide in my pillow fort. I have one, you know. I built one out of pillows. Mostly. Those were the main ingredients to my fort. So he's like, jumping all over the place. We're shooting stuff with our... Well, we're not really shooting stuff. We're shooting our swords out of our hands. But it's not really going anywhere. So I guess you could say we're not throwing it at all. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. That's good stuff. Gosh, it feels good to be back. But I'm only doing this one video, because Pale is lazy, and I'm not. But I've got other things that I'm up to. Like, like I, I'm not living in a closet anymore. Now I'm living in a bathroom, which is great, because now I, I have a, a bathroom. That's always, it's a lot better than a, than a corner. Those were hard times. But enough about my life. We should be talking about this game called the dishwasher. And there is a, a shocking lack of dishes in this game. In fact, there's very little housework being done at all. It's mostly a lot of explosions and blood and violence and, 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 and inappropriate rock music that's probably not sanctioned by any group that I would call friendly. Usually. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe. And the chainsaws... Oh, jeez, that's really gruesome. There's so much blood! Who would have thought zombies would have that much blood? I wouldn't. I would have been like, you know, it's a zombie, it's like undead and stuff. They're filled with embalming fluid and, and maybe like worms and stuff. You know, come to think of it, I don't really know what I think is worse. I think the, the worms and the embalming fluid is grosser than the blood. But I think that's just because the media has desensitized us to violence, more or less. To the point where seeing blood is commonplace, but seeing wormy bombing fluid stuff. It's, it's just gross. It's just not the kind of thing that we want to see on a Saturday. <clears throat> Man, I can't stop clearing my throat. That's okay. I'm a good Let's Player. All the best Let's Players clear their throats and cough on the, on the thing. I've watched. I've been paying attention. I've been taking notes. I've been taking big fat notes with my big fat pen on my big fat notepad. Everything I do is big and fat. So yeah, we've got these, like, exploding zombie guys some more, and they're just, they're exploding the, their pants right off. No pants! 
There were never any pants anymore. It's just explosions. If I could wear pants made out of explosions, I would probably end up in jail. So I guess that's the end of that. Oh boy. I, I think the dishwasher is almost dead. That's not good. Because this room is so full of, of enemies and stuff that it's hard to stay alive. There's, there's so many guys coming after you. You know, like, I'm trying to... I just want to... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right, we got some life back. That was a close one. That was super close. That was super duper... The, the plus five close of invincibility. So that you know, it's, it's a very high level item. Very rare drop. Then we got a psycho pick. Apparently those are good. You use them to upgrade stuff, probably. So we got one of those. That's always lovely. Okay, what's in this one? It's another, okay, the, the, the thing that we don't even need. Come on, game, what are you thinking? What are you thinking about? Oh, right, we got these guys. I've they did all sorts of stuff. They're pretty big, but not that big. I've seen bigger. I was watching this Let's Play too, and he fought a giant one that was really, really big, but not that big. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it's pretty small. But look, there's another one! They're just coming out of the woodwork. Although there's probably not too much wood down here. It's mostly stone and bones. That's right. Stone bones! That would be a pretty cool name for a bounty hunter. Oh yeah! Stone Bones the Bounty Hunter! He's coming down your block, and he's gonna knock it off. Knock your block off. That's pretty cool, right? I thought so. You start a webcomic. Okay, we got a key ring now. Yay! Hooray! Yay! I'm so excited. Uh-oh. Oh god, the room's sealed off, and there's all sorts of stuff happening. Why does this always go on whenever I'm talking? Just trying to tell a story about a small fishing village and, and two people that were born for each other, but their love was too difficult to, to deal with because a lot of other people were like, that's a bad idea! And they were like, well, come on now, you don't even know us like that. How could you assert your judgment? Like, I mean, you know, mind your own business. But the people were like, no, we don't want to do that, buddy. We want to get all up in your, up in your grill. That's what the cool kids are saying now. They get up in the grill. And then they had in the grill. Just heaven in the form of 600 calories. Oh god, I want one. But it's not breakfast time anymore. They don't have it on the normal menu. I just... I don't... They never... McDonald's is frustrating. Anyway, we've got some more people to stop breathing by putting things in them that are sharp and pointy. And it sure is a good thing that we can fly, because if we couldn't, man, those those guys with the gas masks would be all over us like, like flies on poo, poo That's what they would do. I've seen movies. I've seen the movies with the poo-poo and the flies. I've seen it all. I've been places. Alright, so I guess that was the wrong way. Now we're going to the right. This is the right way to go. If you don't believe me, then you, you, you aren't really watching all that close. Okay, so we got the, the key was used on the lock. It's been locked, and then it's been unlocked. And it's... Uh, our... Caribou headgear is off unlocked. That is such an old reference. If anyone gets that, you just you're old. Okay, so we got this like this thing going on here. I'm gonna try and be professional for a minute. Every game needs an elevator sequence, and this game has one, so here we are. This is the game's elevator sequence, and this is the good time to use that that one sparkly thing that goes off in one direction. You know the one. I'm sure Pale explained it properly. So use that, because it's a flat surface, there are no inclines, there are no platforms, which uh, kind of puts you at, a, at an advantage, I guess. Because you can just be like, Pachoo! Pachooey! And then everyone's dead. Just like that. Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! I'm so excited. And I just I can't hide it anymore. I don't want it. You can't stop me. My excitement is, has, has peaked at the age of 18. Meanwhile, women's peak at 34 to 35 or something, I don't know. It's cruel and unusual. Nature is unfunny. And again, maybe nature has the greatest sense of humor of all. Okay, so we got these guys and we took the heads off and we got some life back and it's all, it's all going okay now. 
every time, every time things get really hairy, we, we pull out the electric shaver and get some life back. So that's good. There have been a few close shaves. I haven't started shaving yet, but one day, I'm trying to grow a mustache right now. It's kind of more like peach fuzz, I guess. I don't know. I once, I once drew a mustache on my face, but no one believed me. That's what I get for using Laurentian products. They're just they're not good. They're not good for imitating hair. Don't even try to use them for that. Don't do it. You're just gonna waste your time. Okay, so we got this guy. Took him out. He's all stabbed up, which is, I don't know, probably bad. But not for us. No, no, no. We're pretty awesome. So I guess we're done the level or something. Next time on Let's Play the Dishwasher. <laughs> I don't know. Plot.